Hi, um, thank you, Maya. As she said, I'm uh, the curator at uh, KK Outlet, which is a gallery on Hoxton Square. Um, but tonight I'm not going to talk about that. I wanted to talk about winning and um, losing. And that is um, an amazing photograph of Sunderland getting whopped, possibly getting demoted, which never gets boring. Um, anyway, yeah, I wanted to talk about winning and losing. Um, and how it doesn't matter so much whether you win or lose, it's more about what you do with it uh, that counts. And at this point, um, I'd like to introduce you to Gloria Clemente. Um, she is the really wise and philosophical character, uh, Rosie Perez's character in White Men Can't Jump. Um, and she is constantly imparting her wisdom on a uh, perpetual loser of a boyfriend, Billy Hoyle. And I've just got a quick clip which I want to play. Go, Gloria. Um, so, following on from that nugget of wisdom um, and based on the, the topic of the talk, which is inspiration, I wanted to talk about someone who has massively inspired my life and my work. Um, and that, um, uh, and it just uh, to sort of tie into what Gloria was saying, it, from the outside it looked like this man had lost everything when in actual fact he'd won more than you could ever imagine. And that man is my dad. Um, my dad used to be an English teacher and teachers and schools are based or sort of judged on um, good grades. And so he was very much preoccupied with clever children. He, he kind of discounted the kids who didn't do as well. He thought they were thick and lazy and he didn't oh, slide for lazy. <laughs> Um, and disruptive, um, and he didn't sort of pay that much attention to them to his detriment. Um, and when I was younger, we all went on holiday to Florida as Big Al, my dad. Um, and sadly, he fell into a diabetic coma um, when we were on holiday. And I just remembered this point when I was putting the presentation together that the one thing that used to get a reaction from him was when you played music to him when he was in this coma. Um, but instead of playing like classic rock anthems that he really liked, we decided to play rock set to him. And he would be like riding around on the bed and my stepmom was like, oh, doesn't he like it? When in actual fact, he was probably in absolute purgatory, like screaming for it to be turned off. Um, so we didn't know whether he was gonna wake up. If he did, what kind of um, state he was gonna be in. But as it turns out, he did wake up and six weeks later, he was brought back to Newcastle. Um, but the result was that he was severely brain damaged and he, um, he couldn't speak very well, he couldn't read and write, he couldn't dress himself, and he certainly couldn't teach. Um, and so from the outside, he looked like he'd lost everything. Um, and over the next few years, he struggled to gain back everything. Um, he struggled to win a series of small but monumental battles. Um, and he, he did, again, learn to speak properly, he learned um, to dress himself, he learned to get on the bus on his own. Um, and he learned to read and write, and I remembered as well, he used to like read all the signs that we ever drove past, which was really annoying as like a really aggro teenager. So like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> um, but yeah, so he won these a sort of series of uh, monumental battles, and um, he also used to do this thing where he would struggle for the next word, and he would always say sort of, uh, sort of, uh, which is, and again, pretty annoying. Um, but he uh, got to the stage where he could go back to work or he was deemed fit to go back to work and he went to work in a really demeaning job in um, the Royal Mail Sorting Office but he couldn't work out quick enough which letters went in which ducats and he was eventually fired um, and there was another like loads of other really awful things happened to him like I remember one torturous Christmas shopping trip in Geordie Jeans I haven't just put that in for a fact, we did actually get Christmas presents from Geordie Jeans. Um, but he couldn't write the cheque, he was at the cash desk and he couldn't work out where the date and the money went. And this was a man who was an English teacher and he used to read history books for fun, yet he couldn't remember how to write a cheque. However, the sheer stubborn nature of his character never let it beat him and he eventually did go back to school, um, the school that he used to teach at, but not as a teacher. Um, he went back as a learning support mentor and he started working with the kids that he had once disregarded as thick and lazy and stupid. Um, and he realised that it wasn't these kids' fault, it was more often than not, it was the adults in their lives. So it was the system that let them down, it was poor resources. 
it wasn't enough funding, it was their home life, the list goes on. Um, and slowly but surely you started to realise that if you spent any amount of time with these children, you got amazing results out of them. Um, and he became like a champion for them. He, uh, he wanted more funding, he, used to, he taught them how to read and write. He taught them how to deal with their frustrations like he had, and as a result, their behavior got much, much better. Um, and most of all, he developed an empathy and an understanding which he would never have had had he not lost everything we take for granted. Um, and at his memorial service a few years ago, a small boy from year nine who he'd taught, um, he was really cute, and he read out this speech that, he'd, um, that my dad had enabled him to write. And he mentioned how much he was going to miss my dad and, um, and how he was the only person that would ever cross the school ground to speak to him and how he'd helped him more than anyone in his life. Um, and so I just wanted to sort of end by um, going back to what Gloria said. Um, it doesn't so much, so much matter whether you win or lose, it's more what you do with it that counts. Um, my dad sometimes couldn't remember how to write checks, but in my book and in the kids that he taught, he was a massive winner <laughs> and um, I've got a minute left I thought I was gonna run out of time but I just had this extra slide which if I finished early um, I came across it the other day I was, as I was putting the presentation together and it just kind of sums up um, yeah you can give in or you can give it all you've got so thank you <laughs>